hey you guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you how i did these really cute spring nails that i did all myself it's been so long since i've done my own nails and i had free time today due to a cancellation so i decided to record a video on my own hand for my channel which i want to start doing a lot more frequently um and I believe I will be having the time to do so now. So that is a goal for me. But first, I'm starting off by pushing back her cuticles. I mean, my cuticles. <laughs> I'm so used to saying that, like I'm doing somebody else's nails. That's how you know it's been so long. But I'm pushing back my cuticles. And then I'm going to remove the shine. Well, then I'm going to cut my cuticles and then remove the shine. And then add nail tips. And I'm going to double tip my tips and shape into coffin today, which I normally don't do. I don't know why I decided to do coffin, but I did. I, that's just the flow I was going for. I, I was going with the flow and coffin is what was calling my name for this set. So that's what I decided to do. But yeah, I'm going to let y'all keep watching. Um, I remember one time my friends said it looked like it hurt when i was pushing back cuticles it doesn't hurt y'all i'd be like trying to kind of scrape the nail beds to remove any dead skin that might be on there um which is something i learned in nail school um but yeah and now i'm going to clip my cuticles which i already told y'all i was gonna do but i'm gonna let y'all watch up until i get to the shaping part So the nail tips that I'm using are the ones I've used from the way beginning, the McCart nail tips, which you guys can get in my 
Amazon shop store down below. I have them like attached so you can easily see the link along with a bunch of other nail products I use like the nail drill I've been using and nail glue, um, nail art brushes and a bunch of other stuff you didn't know. Um, I think I'm going to try. I know Not Polish has some straight nail tips. I have their stiletto nail tips, which I always use for my stiletto nails when a client wants stiletto. But I know they have square now. Um, and I think they might be curved. So I think I'm going to try those out. Let me know if y'all want to see me try them and let y'all know if I like them or anything. I think they're like a lot longer than this too. And I'm low-key getting over double tipping. Like, does anybody else even double tip anymore? Or do they just use extra long nail tips? Um, I wish I could find a wholesale, like, nail tip person that I could just get my own tips from, honestly. That just, made, like, made them perfectly and long. The only extra long nail tips that I've tried before were from Amazon. And they were really, really thick. And just, they were really, really long, too, but... And they were like, I don't know if anybody else had them, but they came in like individual packs with 10 tips. And I also didn't like that because how do you know it's going to fit, you know, everybody's fingers? Like there's a ton of different nail shape sizes. So with those type of nail tips, like when people package them like that, it just doesn't really make much sense. There's so many different like nail bed sizes. So yeah, um... But yeah, so I'm using my card, my card tips. Let me know if y'all want me to try the not polished ones. And then I am going to start shaping. I forget what the grit is that I'm using. But I got this nail um, file from my nail supply store. And <clears throat> I also apologize, apologize if I go out of the frame every once in a while. Um, You guys, it's hard to film yourself doing your own nails. And that's why my hand be looking so weird or like in weird positions sometimes when I'm doing it because it's like see like how it is now like I'm trying to hold my hand so I can shape it the right way and it's hard like I honestly can't even imagine myself trying to do my opposite hand now and I used to do that I was talking to my friends about it today and they were like I was telling them I was like I can't do it and it was like I would say you probably couldn't well they didn't say I couldn't but it was like you've definitely done it before so like we know you can but honestly you guys i really don't think i could do it now like i felt like i was struggling with this even and i'm about to go to miami so i'm not doing my own nails for that so i'm gonna try and find a nail tech but i think if i do get my nails done i'm just gonna get a short basic like white set or something i don't really have it in me to think of a nail idea and i haven't been feeling that creative lately lately either <clears throat> like tomorrow i think i'm gonna try and film another set on myself just because i really want to get um a lot more consistent on youtube um so i think i'm gonna go back to my suite tomorrow and film another video on myself and i'm like been trying to think what the heck to do I might do a shaping, maybe a different shapes video because I know I think I only have coffin or square on this channel. Um, so comment down below any nail tutorials you guys want to see or like tag me and something on Instagram if you want any type of recreation you want to see. One of the nail sets I've been wanting to do is like when people do um, French tips and they put a di different design on each one like a smiley face flames um hearts or lines and they've been so 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 cute but also i feel like i've done a lot of french tip sets on my ch channel so i don't know but I, I don't know i also just think that there it's a really really cute set and i don't know if that type of video is on youtube yet you know so why not put one out there um yeah, even if y'all want to uh, DM me recreation sets to do sometimes, like, I will be down for that because, you know, who doesn't like a challenge or to see if I can recreate a set or whatever. Um, So definitely do that. I'm talking a lot in today's video. It's been a while. I feel like I've been really slacking on YouTube and I'm so sorry for that, you guys. Actually, been 
getting over a breakup. So I was dealing with that and I'm finally like over it. So yeah, I just have this new found like, mm, I don't know if inspiration is the right word, but um, determination to do more videos or just like, you know, step it up with everything that I'm doing. This is what the shape looks like, you guys. Next, I'm going to be applying um, Dehydrator and Bond. I use Mia Secrets, which is also in my Amazon store or list. Um, and then after I do that, I'm going to get right into application. So the first color I am taking is Not Polishes shade Wild Dream in the number 108. If that's not the right number, it will be on the screen, the right one. But it is called Wild Dream. And it's a really pretty pastel orange. It glides just like butter, as you guys can see. And that's going to be my first shade. I'm applying it with the Not Polish number 12 nail brush and Yes, not polish is, I think they're still out of stock on their nail brushes, you guys. Um, unfortunately, I haven't been able to get a new one either. Um, I'm still using the same one I've had since they sent it to me, since I stopped using the old, old one I had. I think I was using the Panda nail brush before this one. Um, but that's just that you guys can see it holds up really well. And all I clean my brush with when I clean it is acetone. Like I just stick it in um, some acetone for a little bit. And that's it cleans my brush. I've had it for a couple months now and it's still in good condition. So um, it's a great brush. And I'm also using Not Polish's Monomer to pick my um, acrylic powder up. I used the 3 bead method for I think all of the nails today and yeah y'all I'm gonna come back when I move on to the next shade. This next color I'm using is a pretty yellow. Um, there's no shimmer in it. I just did posted a video on my Instagram, if you saw, with another pastel yellow um, from Not Polish that has sort of a shimmer in it. But this one isn't that one. This is shade number 104, Sun Kiss.
This color is M86 Blooming Mint. color is the same purple that was also used in my other one of my other videos i posted on youtube um it was the set with pink and purple and chanel and pearls and this is m39 and it's called miss moth And lastly is the pink I'm using M17 and it's called Candy Yum Yum.
this is what the application looks like and now i'm going to reshape them i do not have the footage of me reshaping the thumb but you guys will see me do the rest of them um or do i have the thumb i don't know but and also the pinky i was out of frame so i just cut that part out So now I'm going to be applying the pearls and bling. So the pearls are from Amazon and then the bling is from Skybees Online. And I used Crystal today, not Crystal AB, but I don't remember the size it is. So I can't tell you guys that. But it is, um, the bling that I get is from Skybees Online. And I'm using Zule's bling adhesive to, um, stick both of the pearls and the gems on please ignore my beat up wax pencil i for some reason have been avoiding or forgetting to bring my exacto knife back into my suite it's been in my car and i've been using that to like sharpen it because i don't have a pencil sharpener but like i said it's been in my car so i've just been picking at it and it looks terrible please don't be like me and Please go actually get like a pencil sharpener or just something to sharpen your wax pencils rather than picking at them so they don't look like this and so you don't have a hard time picking up and placing things like I did. Now I'm going to apply the top coat. I'm using IBD's top coat, you guys, which is also linked in my Amazon list. Um, this one has a super tiny applicator, so I really like it because it is good for um, when you're putting the top coat on designs with bling. So you don't get the top coat on the bling. Me personally, I don't like to cover my bling with the top coat because I feel like it makes the shine a bit different and the shine is pretty on its own so i don't think a top coat is needed over top um but after i put this on each of the nails i'm going to cure it for 60 seconds in my nail lamp and then place cuticle oil on and that will be the end of today's video yes i still um love not polishes glossy top coat i have just been out of it for a while so I've been using this IBD one that I've had.
all right y'all that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching um make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video